Hello YouTube, this is my video about my e-bike uh, conversion kit that I bought off of eBay. Um, it's a 24 volt, 500 watt uh, conversion kit. Uh, co cost me about $250. Uh, it comes with a front uh, 24 volt uh, DC brushless motor. Um, was pretty easy to install. Um, the tires that it came with um, had a tube inside and when I inflated the tire uh, it inflated all right but um, after a while you know it was flat so I opened up the tire and saw that the uh, there was no layer on the inside of the rim and what had happened was uh, the holes for the spokes the tube the tube inflated and went inside the holes and busted so what I did was I installed a uh, leather cover inside the rim installed a new tube and put the tire back on and inflated it and it's been holed in uh, just fine now um, as I said it was pretty easy to install um, that's the cable coming out I had some zip ties put on uh, on it, um, um, cables go back up to this battery box back there inside of this hole inside the battery pack. Uh, on the front, it has a thumb throttle um, and it has an on off switch and three LEDs um, it's not very clear but it says full half and empty and basically what this does is it actually calculates what's the voltage coming out of your battery and if the voltage is above 24 volts I guess it t says it's full and as the voltage drops it just tells you that the battery is getting empty uh, Inside the battery box, I have the 24 volt controller. This is the 24 volt controller. It's a 24 volt, 500 watt. Seems, and it's scribbled on in pencil. It doesn't come with any sticker or anything it just scribbled there and uh, these are the screws for the MOSFETs I believe so it has like five MOSFETs inside it doesn't say what company made it or it's just a regular Chinese made controller um, these are the three cables for the DC motor yellow goes to yellow green and blue and this is the Hall effect sensor for the motor as well uh, it's connected to the DC I'm sorry yeah the controller box uh, the throttle has three connectors on it uh, one is for I guess yeah this one is for the on off switch um, and I tested using my um, multimeter that uh, when you press it on uh, the signal goes through so the switch works uh, this is for the DC uh, voltage I think this is just a regular DC supply um, red and black that just goes straight to the throttle uh, for voltage sensing in order to know if the battery is uh, full or not and this is the actual three wires that tell the controller that the throttle is being pushed and based on varying voltage on the blue wire the controller calculates how far I'm pushing the throttle and how fast to move the motor uh, this is actually what happens in the front is I install these brakes that came with the kit and they have this cable coming out and what this cable does is whenever you push the brake lever um, there's a switch in there a micro switch 
that is released and whenever the micro switch releases it sends a signal into this port telling the controller that somebody has pressed the brake and uh, it it stops the supply to the motor um, it's it's a fail safe sa safety uh, device for the uh, for the for the e-bike this is the two wires for the main battery um, and it comes out to a AC input card um, the reason one of the reasons I'm making this video is to just to show what kind of kit this is um, I know that there are a lot of kits out there and uh, most of the kits that I've seen uh, if you're not going in the high-end uh, you know category then they're using the same motor they are made by the same manufacturer even I guess and they are sold by different vendors in the US with different names but what I've seen is the same motor is being sold by different vendors it's just the name is different um, so what I did was I plugged it this this battery cable into my 24 volt battery which is fully charged and what happens after um, I'll show you in a moment so what I've done is I've installed uh, two 12 volt batteries in series as you can see I've joined the 12 volts here to the ground of the second battery and the ground is going to the controller and this wire is going to the controller using a fuse in between and this gives us a 24 volt. I made sure that the batteries are correct. I've tested it with a multimeter that I'm getting about 26.7 uh, volts out, which means that the batteries are fully charged. Um, it's going inside my controller, and you can see that all three of these lights are on. Uh, what tells what that tells you is that the it's saying that the batteries are fully charged. Now if I turn this power switch on and try to push the throttle, my motor is not moving. Um, everything seems to be connected. Um, all three of my motor wires are connected, the motor all sensor is connected, the uh, throttle connections are all connected um, my battery is connected um, and that I know for sure because it's showing a full battery voltage here so if anybody can tell me um, if there's anything special I need to do in order to make this work or what the problem is I would really appreciate that so far what I've seen is what I believe is wrong with this it could be two things I think it's highly unlikely that the motor itself is bad um, what I'm assuming is bad is either the controller see but the MOSFETs for some reason they're not very hard but looks like that they're getting power and so what I'm thinking is wrong is this throttle encoder that is supposed to send the variable signal whenever I press the uh, the throttle that's not working and that's the reason that this uh, e-bike is not working so uh, any inputs from YouTube engineers out there who can give me any idea what's wrong would be appreciated thank you